Hey everybody, it's Sherry again. I actually have a video for you. I know it's been a while, because I'd like to do one a week. If I do something exciting, maybe I could do two a week. But, um, I've had some things going on, and I was not in a place mentally or emotionally to talk to you on a video. I, I'll say it that way, I guess. Um, apparently, I'm getting divorced, and, uh, and I'm moving. Um, you know, because when you're getting divorced, you don't really stay with the one you're getting divorced from, right? So, anyway, um, so yeah, let me catch you up, so that you can have your Sunday video, um, Sunday, tomorrow, I will be driving from Missouri to Minnesota because that's where I'm moving to. So, um, let's see. April 2nd. Holy crap, I won a hundred bucks today. It wasn't this ticket, of course, because they keep the tickets when you win. But it was one. I bought two and one of the ones won a hundred bucks. Most I've ever won on a little scratch-off ticket. Uh, April 3rd, writing. April 4th. Oh, I paid my first car payment. And I wrote down all the info in case... Sorry, Myrtle Jean is exploring stuff. And I can't reach her from here. Um, I wrote all my stuff down just in case uh, they tried to say that um, I didn't pay it or something. But I, I did. I paid it early. I paid on the 4th. It wasn't due till the 22nd. And I just want to be up on my car payments. I love my little car. Um, oh, I had gotten a job offer in Minnesota. And so um, I did like pros and cons and stuff on this piece of paper while I was at work. And then, because uh, I didn't have my journal with me, and then I came home and just slapped it in there. Um, I'm just playing with paint. Nothing, no biggie. April 6th, while I'm writing this, I'm eating a bowl of instant mashed potatoes mixed with a can of turkey gravy. Yep. Sometimes that's what I eat. <laughs> um, boo -hoo -hoo. Oh, this would be so much easier if my husband had, if my love had faded, but it didn't. I'm in love with him, and that's now my great misfortune. Yes peeps because he told me he does not love me romantically anymore and also does not want a monogamous relationship so he wants a different lifestyle and uh, so we're getting divorced and he'll do his thing and I'll do my thing whatever that is uh, do a little heart with a dagger in it. You know, because stuff. Found some random crap lying around, so I went ahead and stuck it in here. None of that had to do with my day at all, except that I got this in the mail. That's it. Just, you know, random shit is supposed to just be random shit. Let's see. I have a smallish notebook I'm making lists in. List of things for moving, whether I'm able to move to Minnesota or not, I still have to move. Um, oh, yeah, I like this. It's not really a cartoon, I guess. It's like a, the caption. Am I a joke to you, Karen? I just thought this, it made me laugh. Maybe not other people, but it made me laugh my butt off, so I threw it in there. Um, let's see. Oh, it was... Myrtle really, excuse the mess guys, but Myrtle just decided in her awesomeness to dump the tissues on the floor for apparently no reason at all. She's just throwing everything all over the place. Myrtle Jean, you're not being very not, uh, you're not being very good right now. I know you don't care. Anyway, so I accepted this job offer that I got in Minnesota. 
Yes. And then I went to Minnesota for like a little three-day trip. I flew out there Friday morning first thing. And we went and had some fun and stuff. This place is awesome. If you have never been, then you should go. And this place has pretty good burgers. Um, my boarding passes. I'm sorry if this isn't the most exciting video. I just, you know what? I'm I've been overwhelmed this whole time. There's so many emotions. Overwhelm, over being overwhelmed, being completely and utterly into the basement, sad. Because I'm not mad, you know, at, at my husband. I still love him. Um, and I don't feel mad, but... But I'm not happy <laughs> that this is happening. Ugh, my, my head's all over the place. Anyway, well that was a part of the pamphlet from the general store. Minnesota is a magical place. I thought it was nice, and I was only there for like three days. But I'm going to be there for a long time, because I accepted the job, and it's the first year is a year contract, so I'm going to be there. To fall in love is awfully simple, but to fall out of love is simply awful. Agreed, Bess. Agreed. Oh, yeah, I made some little scribble flowers. I actually... I actually like these little doodly flowers. They're easy to make them look different with different color. Um, I use colored pencil, but you could use watercolors or whatever you like. Crayons. You know, they're just fun. And I love flowers, like in real, real flowers. Um, my favorites. I love daisies. But then any flowers that are naturally blue, not dyed, like when they dye carnations and stuff. Um, I love any flowers that are naturally blue or, or purple, but blue specifically. It's so pretty. I saved, a, I saved this from our paper. I think it was a St. Louis something. Wow, that's terrible. I don't even know the name of the paper. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a big monumental thing, um, Notre Dame Cathedral burning, that it didn't waste the whole building or anything, but, there, I mean, you know, there's obviously big, big damage and stuff. That happened on the 15th. Anyway, back to April 21st, which was Easter for, for Christians and Catholics, and um, um, Easter or Ostara, I think, for um, a lot of pagans or Wiccans. Um, for other people, it's just April twenty first. It's, but whatever. Um, who, however, you decide to do it or not. Um, you know, I was I was actually brought up. We celebrated Easter, but because it was like a holiday and a thing to look forward to, but it was never. Um, my parents weren't religious, so it was never, like, about a religious thing. It was always, there were bunnies and chicks and baby things being born at that time of the year. And there's baskets and Easter egg hunts and things like that. So. But this Easter, um, usually I would go with Josh to his folks' house, and there would be um, a dinner and stuff, and... Of this year I didn't go, so it's really awkward, so I stayed home and uh, baked a chicken, and um, Josh went to his family's, and uh, then I went to work at 8 p.m., so well, this, an alternative ending to our story is something I've been dreading all my life. Myrtle Jean. Myrtle thinks she has figured out how to get in the kitchen cupboard, so. Oh, goodness. Myrtle's bed visit went fine. She was scared and just froze, but it made the exam easier. Dr. McNeil gave her some dewormer and 
gave me several suggestions to make her upcoming car ride easier on her. And then there's a thing I found in a magazine about calming your cat um, with butter when uh, you have, like, a party or something and a bunch of people in the house, which I don't uh, all, you know, I don't ever do. I was supposed to have a mammogram um, Thursday morning. I went and got my labs done, but I did not get my boobs squashed. I can wait until I get a new doctor in Minnesota. This was one of those whole uh, whole blends, I think by Garnier or something. Um, a shampoo adds, and I liked all the honey and everything in it. So what I wanted to do was put a bunch of bee stickers around it. But uh, I already packed up my stickers and shipped them off to my um, friend's house to keep for me for when I get up there. So I'm going to have to wait. Oh, there was this. My dove. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. I don't know that that's true, but it's, it's nice to think on. <laughs> and I got some lovely mail from a lovely person. Um, packing and being overwhelmed in every way seems to have become the temporary norm. Yeah, that's what's been going on. And I did three. Three. Count them. Three loads of laundry that day. Sucks. I hate doing laundry. Well, it's like, okay, I guess. This is supposed to be like a megaphone with little confetti coming out of it. Um, I may not have drawn it right, but that was the idea. And my last shift at work, I was so happy it was my last shift there. Um, and I had one of these, uh, well, bullseyes, I guess they call them. It's caramel. It's uh, like an oval, and it's caramel on the outside, and like some kind of uh, cream or icing-y thing on the inside. I love these. They're so, yum so yummy. And then on the next page, I did pros and cons of... The job I just got done doing for the past eight and a half years. And I like this picture. I found this in a magazine. Um, and she looks... She looks sad or maybe wistful. I, I When I cut it out, I thought she looked sad like me. But I really liked how this part here seems to be a face... Like this is a nose and these are eyes. And how it's looking somewhere else. The butterfly was not part of the picture. I cut the butterfly out from something else and put it there. And butterflies, you know, I mean, change. And so I've got this other part of her brain thinking, well, this is a change. And the butterfly, you know, is flying upward. So, I don't know, sim symbology, I guess. And then my friend Lisa came over. And she helped me pack, and we hung out, and we went to Walmart. She helped me buy a new bra, because she made a suggestion on one, that, and I bought it, and it turns out it's wonderful. So thank you again, Lisa, if you're watching. It's awesome. And then this is a card that was given to me um, by the people I worked with. Um, and a lot of people signed it. Including this, I I had to call my boss and ask whose signature this was because I had no idea. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really nice that they all. Oh, that's it. That they um, did a card. Now I know that I have pages left, but uh, after I write for today, you know, which will be over here, then that is the end of this one. Because if I'm starting over, starting like a new life in Minnesota and everything, um, I'm, I'm going to start a new journal along with it. Because I thought that made sense. So that's the end of this one. And that's the end for today. I wish you all the best of everything. Bye-bye.